Today, we are going to be using matcha powder, strawberry syrup, vanilla syrup, and ice and oat milk to make a iced strawberry vanilla matcha latte. To start, we're gonna go ahead and preheat some water to about 170 degrees Fahrenheit. While the water is heating up, we're gonna go ahead and start prepping the actual matcha powder itself. Uh, so today we are using matcha powder from Kusha, the house of tea out here in Colorado. Um, I've gotten the chance to do a couple of trial and errors with this, more errors than trials. Um, but yeah, it's got a great flavor, citrusy notes, it's sweet, little hints of vanilla in there, very creamy, and it makes some really great drinks, without a doubt. So first what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and scoop out to not necessarily heaping, but level scoops of matcha powder. There's one. We're gonna go ahead and toss it in there. Now traditionally, uh, you wanna go ahead and try and filter this out through a sieve to prevent any clumps, but this powder is actually really solid, not super clumpy by nature. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and trust the process a little bit. Water should be nice and warm now, so we need to go ahead and heat our bamboo whisk. Um, so the reason you want to heat a bamboo whisk is because these are very fine little whatever you call the things on whisks. Um, and if you don't heat it, they're brittle, they will break if you try to froth the matcha without preheating it and softening the bamboo. Uh, I guess tines is a way I could call that. The little bamboo pieces here. Um, so we need to preheat it for about two minutes, let it soak in some warm water, which is perfect because we are at about 120 degrees here. I'm gonna go ahead and just add in some nice hot water for this to soak in. There we go. One of the really, really cool things about heating your matcha whisk is you will start to see it almost open up a little bit. And it opens up more and more with each use. You can already see it starting to Kind of relax i guess is a way you could talk about it. it is all ready to go it's been roughly two minutes we're opened up we can see that the bamboo is a lot more pliable now now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and grab our hot water and we're going to pour in about two ounces smells like grass. What we want is we want to thicken it up so we can almost make it like a latte. What we're going to do is we're actually going to be doing a bit of a M or W shape. It doesn't really matter. They're all the same. And you really want to give it a nice solid effort. One of the things you're going to see is that it's already starting to froth up. So we can see those nice little bubbly, almost like a crema on an espresso shot. That's kind of what we're getting out of this. Awesome. Now is a perfect time to go ahead and incorporate our vanilla into the matcha here. And we're gonna go ahead and just take plain old vanilla syrup this is going to be added sweetness, it's going to add flavor, and it's going to balance really well with the strawberry cold foam. So we're just adding in about 20 grams, a little higher. Um, 20 grams or I guess 20 milliliters, they're both the exact same. That out. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and incorporate that into the matcha. We're going to go ahead and put in about four ounces of oat milk. And by that, I mean five ounces of oat milk. We measure with our heart, but we pretend we measure with a scale. Grams or milliliters, it really doesn't matter for those that don't know, grams and milliliters are the exact same. Um, and we're gonna add about 30 grams of this beautiful, delicious red strawberry syrup. 
real exact with this one because I don't want to over sugar this drink. And by exact, I mean we're going to go over by about a gram. This is very simple, quick cold foam. Most cold foams have like heavy cream, mascarpone cheese, things like that. With a nice matcha latte, it's really great just with milk, just with syrup. Tastes just fine. And it also doesn't make it a super thick, like weird mouthfeel drink or anything like that. But my favorite part when making cold foam is just watching how quickly that strawberry syrup incorporates into that milk. Do this for about two minutes. What we're doing is we are thickening up the milk, but we're also creating a layer of strawberry cold foam right at the top. What this is gonna do is when we pour the matcha over that strawberry cold foam, we're gonna see that, that foam layer kind of separate from the milk. And we're even gonna be using a bar spoon to really layer the matcha onto the cold foam. Matcha is a more natural caffeine source. On average, most matcha powders have anywhere from 70 to 80 milligrams of caffeine. So if you are somebody who's a lot more sensitive to caffeine, then you're just looking for a nice little afternoon pick-me-up, or you want to have a nice little ritual in regards to your morning coffee preparation, matcha is a great, great way to go. It's really, but yeah, we can see this little cold foam layer sitting right on top here. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna grab a nice thick ice cube for the vibes. A little splash back here. Look at that. It floats in the middle. It's like, you can't really tell, but it is literally sitting on like a layer of foamed milk right now beneath that ice cube. Now what we're gonna do, we are right near the tail end of this. We're gonna go ahead and grab our bar spoon on end. And you're gonna make a big mess while you're doing it because that's how you know it's gonna be a good drink. Before we drink it, we're going to ruin those beautiful layers. But I mean, just look at that shot, mixing all together. Oh, that smells amazing. All right, cheers. My best one yet. They get better every time.